uh, studies consistently show that uh, most people, as many as 90% of all smokers or tobacco users, begin their tobacco use prior to age 21. Uh, therefore, if we can get them to uh, not uh, begin tobacco use at that time, uh, then it's likely that they'll never begin at all. All of the restrictions uh, would apply to both uh, traditional tobacco and to um, the nicotine products and, and other vaping products in e-cigarettes, so that the age would become 21, making it uh, consistent across the board under my bill. The financial benefits to this uh, uh, bill are huge uh, in the hundreds of millions of dollars uh, that can be saved uh, in long-term health care costs uh, if we can stop people from uh, beginning to smoke and also of course the cost to human lives um, similarly hundreds of thousands of lives uh, can be saved uh, if we can uh, if we can prevent the, the onset of, of this habit. Uh, obviously we do have an alcohol age of 21 uh, raising the smoking age to 21 I think uh, makes the same kind of sense as the alcohol age in fact it probably makes even better sense since because there is no um, redeeming social value at all, uh, in my view, to tobacco.